Hi, this is Kevin from Kevin's Classroom. We're going to look at the heating curve. As a material, a substance gets temperature increases, so we find over time that it changes phase. I'm going to just do a drawing over here, like this, and they have asked us to draw and detail and explain the heating curve. On this side, I have got my temperature, degrees Celsius, could also be degrees Kelvin, and in some countries, degrees Fahrenheit. What have we got? We are saying here that this is defined as the boiling point. The boiling point is the top one, and the melting point is the bottom one. If I think of this as water, that is zero degrees, and this is 100 degrees Celsius. That is what we do. Now they want to know, well, what is this phase over here? This is going to be a solid. In other words, below the melting point is always a solid. What have I got over here? This is all a now a liquid. And we know that this is all a gas, chemically represented as the following. Solid liquid. But what have we got in between? What is in between these two pieces over here and these two pieces over here? We have got a mixed phase. So in between there, I have got solid plus liquid. Well, you can ask me, how did you get that? Well, it's quite simple. I have got ice blocks floating in my water. And it's zero degrees, but they are still ice in there. So when it changes completely to liquid, then I can take that as being that point. Well, what have I got at the top one? At the top one, I have got a liquid plus a gas. In other words, what have I got? I've got inside my kettle, my water's boiling, and I've got the gas up top there. I have got, once again, a mixed phase. That is basically how we look at a heating curve. We're going to look at some others just now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.